for them to give you a shape and then say hey what's the area of this shape and um, the question actually got cut off here and it's not written out but that's what they're doing here uh, we have this rectangle and these four points and it's on the coordinate plane or Cartesian plane and to find the area um, I, I guess the most obvious way for me is to count uh, the height how many boxes are on the height how many boxes are along the width and then multiply the two and don't be afraid to double count the boxes that intersect you can do that or count all of them but let's do the faster technique and just count the height and the width and then multiply the two so here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and notice I write it down because um, if you're taking these tests you're rushing it's very easy to lose track of that a quick way of count then counting individually could be to realize hey this point right here it says 6 it's, that means it's 6 above the x-axis this one says negative 4 which means it's 4 below the axis altogether it's 10 so now let me use that technique here to count from left to right this point is at negative 8 from 0 and this point is at positive 6 so I know that this right here is 14 so it's a 14 by 10 or 140 um, square inch or unit or whatever it is square unit um, rectangle similarly here um, they want to know what the area is and you could take this thing and cut it off into shapes some formation that you think is helpful here I have a square of 4, another square of 4, a rectangle of 6 and then this right here which is just a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 12 an area of 12, add them up, we have 10 here 16 here, the answer is 26 um, you, when you have a funky shape like this, cut it up into a way that you find friendly here, same idea, this one only take one cut and we have two rectangles. This one is on the bottom is a three by what looks like, well, here's that point, it's um, eight, one. So it's over eight from the x-axis and then this is over three. So this is a three by 11 rectangle. So on this bottom rectangle it has an area of 33. Meanwhile, the one on top has a five by two or um, an area of 10. We add them up and we have 33 square units. Again, what is the area of the rectangle drawn on the coordinate plane? They have all this stuff here and really all they're looking for is the area. So what I might do is realize that this point is two below the x the y axis excuse me, two below the y axis and at this point here is five above. So this rectangle has a height of seven and a width of four. So the area is twenty eight.